It is a grey and rainy day in Cambridge, which is the perfect day to go book shopping. Do do do, I'm walking down the street, gonna go buy some books, gonna go book shopping now, over to you, Will. <laughs> I just got recognised. I just got recognised in the street for the first time in my entire life. Anyway, this is Heifer's. Heifer's is part of the Blackwell's chain of bookshops. Uh, the flagship store is in Oxford, I think. What's really great about Heifer's, first, it has a ridiculous name, which made me laugh for several months when I first moved here. And it's also surrounded by some of the most gorgeous buildings in Cambridge, which I'll show you in a second. But first, let's go do some book shopping. Oh, that's a lot of green books in it, and a lot of red ones and all. Heifers is interesting because when you first walk in you get hit with a lot of classics on one side and a lot of non-fiction on the other. And here is the Cambridge section which is just full of books about Cambridge or by people who maybe studied at Cambridge, I'm not entirely sure. And then you've got your new paperback fiction section which is like a pillar right in the middle of the shop as you first walk in, catches your eye. And then you go up the stairs. Now when you go up the stairs, there are all these tote bags hanging on the walls, and then laid out on the banister here are all of the latest hardbacks, and you just keep walking and walking and going past them and picking them up, and it's very interactive in a slightly different way. And then on the left side here are just generally new hardback books that I guess uh, get recommended. And then you carry on through and you've got more and more of these hardbacks lining this banister area and you just get this view of the whole bookshop and it is massive. It's just this whole open area that you just breathe in and there's loads more underneath as well like there's stationery, board games, uh, some old books as well. So just down the road from Heifer's is the Cambridge University Press Bookshop, which when I first came here I thought was going to be just another bookshop, but it's actually really clever and for really clever people. <laughs> I don't know how else to phrase it. Everything in here is so much smarter than I am. But, you know, it's June and they've done a pride thing, so that's nice. They've also got this whole display for Ulysses, and uh, I've tried to read Ulysses like three times and failed, so... I don't know, is it calling to me? Probably not. Just in case you really wanted a voiceover for this bit, that was a sign, that's another sign, and that's a doorway. Cambridge is stupidly beautiful. Even on a day like today where it's just grey and nasty, it's the prettiest city, like, ever. It's wild, I literally cannot get bored of it. Alright, behind me is Sarah Key, otherwise known as the Haunted Bookshop. <laughs> I had to stop filming because like a million American tourists just came by. What's also cool about Sarah Key is right next door is the Indigo Cafe, which is a really delightful little place. This is also something cool that's worth mentioning. Cambridge is full of these posters for mostly theatre or shows that are going on, talks that are being discussed, and I just think it's awesome. It's so old school and I learn a lot. Now this is the Haunted Bookshop. I just had a look at their website, and there is nothing about the fact that this bookshop is haunted. I really don't know where the name comes from, but they specialise in children's and illustrated books. Now very fittingly, the Haunted Bookshop is found in this weird little square in the middle of Cambridge that has a church in it. You've got headstones, you've got the actual church above me, and there's another bookshop just around the corner. This bookshop, as you can see behind me, was actually founded like 130 years ago. It's an antiquarian bookshop and it's just as quaint and delightful as the Haunted Bookshop. Let's have a look. Last stop on our tour is the Cambridge branch of Waterstones. I am biased because I love Cambridge, but I really am attached to this particular branch. They do great displays like this Ishiguro one and also this Sally Rooney one for Beautiful World, they do the best displays. And the shop is a really decent size. And look at this, look at this, wait, wait. Tilted Axis, NYRB Classics, Charco, and Fitzcarraldo. Okay, Agatha Christie, look at that display. They even have her name in her signature at the top. I love it. And now it's time for me to sit and read and chill. Subscribe for books.